We are now also going to be joined by founders of two startups that had a meeting with the Prime Minister this weekend. So we have Sakit Modi of Lucidius, well-known cybersecurity expert as well with us, and uh, Pavan Kumar Chandana, the CEO of Skyroot Aerospace, who was also at that virtual meeting with the Prime Minister, where we also saw the likes of Uday Kotak being present. At least that's what I could make out uh, from all the photographs I've seen on social media. So let's just ask uh, Sakit and Pavan how the meeting went. Uh, you know, we all know how much importance the government wants to give to startups that are ahead of union budget. Of course, everyone's expecting, like all stakeholders of the economy, the moon and a lot more. Sakit, let me come to you first. Uh, good evening, Nantara here. Always ple a pleasure talking to you. It's a big meeting with the Prime Minister. Uh, I know you're not going to give me details, uh, but uh, do we know what, can you share with us what the agenda was? Sure, Nantara. And, uh Contrary to a lot of meetings with the Prime Minister, this was actually telecasted live on Durdarshan and Nantara, so I can talk to you pretty much about everything that happened out there. But uh, but, but taking a step back, uh, Nantara, this is, I feel, a pretty big deal, uh, symbolically and at the same time with things that happen on ground, and I'll explain you why. Because if you think about it, right, uh, the... The, the, one of the biggest challenges of a developing nation is all about getting the economy in place, getting jobs to the to, to, to the unemployed. And in India, it actually has the highest number of unemployed people uh, less than 35 years of age. What that means is that you need avenues by which you can create not a few hundred, few thousand, but millions of jobs. Now, all studies point to the fact that the number one way by which job creation in a country happens is as when a startup scales up. I have 100 and 220 people in my organization, uh, and, and I've been growing almost 300% year over year, uh, as, as you speak. And, uh, and, 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 you know, I, I actively right now have more than 35 openings. Now, while one startups, this is mine, uh, the numbers might no, not look all that no, I, I actively right now have more than 35 openings. Now, while one startups, this is mine, uh, the numbers might no, not look all that big, but when you actually add up the entire ecosystem, and when I say startup, you know, when they go IPO, when they go, you know, series B, series C raise, they suddenly bump up their human resources because they need them, frankly, to be able to meet the plans that they make to raise their funds. So, so, so you know, having the prime minister of the country talk about uh, how important startups are and realizing and understanding that and, and actually recognizing the startups uh, saying, you know, this really plays a very, very central role in his plans of really touching that $5 trillion GDP number really makes a lot of difference. The second thing about startups also is Nantara that you see a large company, when you think about it, right, a large company has been there, done that when it comes to solving a problem. A large company was also a startup at some point, but that's a different story. But assuming all the big, the Tatas and the Birlas and the Vipros and the TCSs of the world, they're already there with their steady business models, uh, which, which produce billions of dollars of revenue and, of course, subsequent market caps. However... The on-prem problem or on-ground problem of the economy, that is where the startup is the closest to, where they can go ahead and say, you know what, this is a real problem. I cannot order food for myself, so I want to open a Zomato. I cannot go ahead and, you know, order cabs for myself, so I start an Uber, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and the examples are too many. So I feel the real innovation, which can touch masses or on the enterprise side, the way we are driving it, uh, they really come from startups and not from the large companies, and that's the reason why a lot of large companies now want to acquire acquire so many startups to strategically invest and engage with them. So I think these are two very, very critical aspects about why programs like these, meetings like these become so significant uh, in, 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 although it was only a few of us which got a chance to present, but for, for, for tens of thousands of people who work in startups or thinking of startups, I think it becomes a very, very important symbol for them to look up to. Nantara. Okay, thanks, Sakit, for setting the stage for that. I'm going to take this forward now with uh, Pavan. Uh, Pavan, good to have you on uh, this edition of the Startup Central. Uh, you know, so you've seen Sakit give us a few, uh, the highlights, if I could say so, of what was discussed with the Prime Minister. Now, this is coming against the backdrop of what has been a raging debate of late, which is flipping. 
so many startups you know changing their domicile because it is tougher to do business here it is tougher to get uh, funded in india it's something that foreign investors want but foreign accelerators want uh, as far as flipping goes so that india also gets to keep its ip did that come up at all for discussion yeah so in fact like uh, first to say you know india is the third largest uh, startup country in the world you know so there is like a huge number of startups like about 40000 of startups already uh, in india and uh, you know for example startups like me uh, in fact uh, we were really benefited from the government policies you know many were benefited by the startup india program in some way you know and for, for example it has actually uh, affected uh, the perception of startups in india you know a lot of people started uh, working in startups a lot of people started uh, you know uh, creating complementary startups which will help us in growing our startup as well so that way like i uh, consider you know startup india program as a success uh, in a way so when it comes to funding and capital uh, you know so that way like uh, you know the, the government has announced a 10000 crore corpus you know so i'm really not sure how much exactly uh, came onto the ground but like a significant chunk has been disbursed is what i hear uh, and now there is like another announcement of like 1000 crores uh, you know seed capital which is coming in uh, and also like the startup india page which has come up uh, they have told that you know it will be like 20 lakh worth of uh, grant for startups for developing uh, a proof of concept Uh, will be provided and also like uh, even more uh, capital in terms of debt or you know even in equity in the form of funds of funds will be made available by the government so this is uh, definitely a great initiative what i feel and uh, a lot of ip creation uh, within india both in the software and hardware there several companies you know building uh, uh, ip within india and this grant i think uh, whatever 20 lakhs grant is there even though it's a slightly smaller amount for uh, many industries but i feel like it's a good start uh, you know for generating lot of startups who want initial you know kick off capital to produce their the proof of concept uh, and also like i would also like to point out you know especially when it comes to both software and hardware uh, the cost of building something out of india is actually quite less compared to any other country so even 20 lakhs might seem a small amount but for most cases for most proof of concept it is good enough to start off with uh, that way like i think uh, ip creation is like probably you know it's part and parcel of startup life uh any kind of startup and also this kind of uh, initial seed capital uh, and also the government promotion of startups in the form of startup india program and how it has affected the perception of startups within the country i think it's like a kind of a good success within the country so sake tell me something um if the prime minister gets it like you're saying how india can't reach 5 trillion without the startup ecosystem the startups are solving the common man's problems and innovating for that uh, we need domestic capital to bolster all of that i'm sure you guys all made a case also on how the government can give a hand besides just writing out checks just creating a friendlier business environment so that you don't see problems like flipping yeah you're absolutely right nandara and uh, you know this has been something that has been constantly discussed uh I think India has become a hotbed for 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 creating in India but not for thinking and designing in India and I'll explain the difference right when you buy an iPhone today it actually says in go behind it it says designed in California what it's actually saying is that uh, the IP sits in California while it's assembled in India or assembled in China that's what it's saying right now we have a lot of very large companies with their research and analytics or research and development arms which are bangalore hyderabad and so many pune and so many these these places and unfortunately some of the most incredible ip that we create and there are it still gets registered as an american ip now let's take an example of my company right i created an ip on how do you quantify the cyber securities breach likelihood within a data center so every server laptop desktop database every employee of a company gets a real time safe score now that's a lot of mathematical algorithms and you know data science now we were shocked to get a patent in 6 months because we were registered with the startup india initiative and you know you 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 can't expect to get a patent in 6 months right it just doesn't work like that and the reason i'm saying that is nantara is that shows the intent being there having said that let's not forget india is a huge country and uh, whenever you create something for smaller companies the definition of startups which startups qualify don't qualify just creates comes with a lot of baggage and 
we all know unfortunately a lot of times it's misused more than being used in the right way so 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 it was discussed and uh, the intent was very clear from the prime minister from from various ministers in his cabinet in fact he very objectively pointed out on his speech that look uh, i know there's a lot that you guys do can do when the government is doing you know what it's supposed to but i know you can do probably more when the government doesn't interfere it doesn't do uh, you know <laughs> it does it's basically you know how do you get away with useless governance uh, with things around that and that coming from the chief uh really sets a very very strong message so i would say it was it was uh, it was definitely a very uh, refreshing and a very very uh you know a very very on the ground understanding uh led conversation uh that we all had and uh, and i would say that we are on the way where we not only assemble in india but we also design and we really you know build in india in fact in my speech i also actually told him that look uh, we are a product which is truly made yeah. in india and made for the world and things around that mentara absolutely right uh, you know i think the prime minister since he came to power in 2014 has been talking about minimum government and maximum governance uh, it's what all stakeholders in the economy want but uh, startups especially um, so building for india building for the world you know that's what uh, the encouragement has been the push has been whether it's from the innovators themselves or the investors and now even the government uh, i'll make this my final question i'll come to pavan for this pavan uh, you know a lot of people always wonder that when these meetings are set up how are they set up so i want to ask you this question because uh, you know we did get emails on this there were very few of you who got an audience with the prime minister uh how did it happen was there some online application you guys enter some contest earlier so you came into the radar of the government or or what is it because um uh, you know what we didn't see maybe was the popular unicorns and all of that so if you can tell us a little bit about how you got that audience with the prime minister yeah yeah so so fantastic question nainthar i think this is uh, something uh, which is of interest to most people uh, so firstly uh, the government has introduced something called national startup awards right the first national startup awards started in 2020 so what they did is like they selected the best uh, startups in the country in 12 sectors Uh, so 36 startups got selected across uh, various fields you know from uh, uh, agriculture till space right uh, then like out of these 36 startups dpiid has like selected few from this list and few outside this list as well and given it to the pmo right then the pmo had uh, you know because of the time limitations so they have cut it down to nine startups right and they have seen i mean they have also seen that you know all these nine uh, startups like covered uh, all length and breadth of the country from various sectors within the country and also like various regions within the country so that's how the final list has been made uh, mostly from the national startup awards uh, and also like some interesting work happening out of the national startup awards so that's how it has come and of course you know the uh, meeting has been uh, arranged fantastically you know with multiple rehearsals before the meeting itself and in fact for us it is the second meeting with the prime minister so we had one private meeting with the prime minister before for that happened like pretty fast right but this meeting was like uh, you know there were multiple rehearsals and you know they wanted to make it perfect uh, and uh, you know they wanted to have the best startups on board you know building cutting edge tech and uh, you know ground breaking technologies so that's how we like they selected the list and they have chosen the startups and they have done all the rehearsals to make it look perfect and then like that's how it came out Okay, because uh, you know we did get those queries that uh, how did this meeting happen? How were they selected? So we said, okay, let's find out with the people uh, who were at the meeting. Saket Pavan, thank you so much for joining us here on this edition of uh, Startup Central. Uh, uh, th thanks a lot for taking the time out. We're going to take a short commercial break. 